Before we start the video today, I wanna to remind everybody, please come over to my Patreon channel. I'm gonna be uploading a brand new video this weekend. We're gonna be talking about some things that we're not allowed to talk about right here. So please come over to my Patreon channel. It helps to support this channel. It helps to support the message. It helps and continues to get the message out. So come over to Patreon, check it out. A lot happening and a lot to talk about. So here we are today in Rancho Mirage, California. Sid and I uh, running a couple errands, gonna grab a little bit of lunch. I uh, brought one of the cameras with as um, we're out today. And we, we just passed by Lord Fletcher's the restaurant behind me here. Um, this is a real, like, historic landmark here. Sinatra ate here all the time. A lot of celebrities would come here. This restaurant opened in 1966. It's been closed for over a year. And as we see all these vacancies in our area, you know, we, we, we can't blame it all on the infection because many of these buildings have been shut down for well over a year, two years, three years. So all of this was coming. Yes, the infection did expedite things, uh, but here we are. We have a, an economy now that is so bad. It, it, it is worse than the Great Depression. And uh, Sid wanted to come along today and just kind of talk with everybody as we start out here at Lord Fletcher's in Rancho Mirage, uh, a real travesty to see such a historical restaurant shut down. They were in business uh, 55 years, uh, very high end uh, location. Um, Rancho Mirage is a very nice city, lots of wealth here. Um, I just don't see how this can happen in a wealthy area like Rancho Mirage. It's devastating to see what is happening in the United States. It really is. And um, guess what? This place has been for sale for over a year. There are no buyers. And is there ever going to be a buyer? How cheap does it have to get before somebody uh, buys a place like this? Uh, you don't want to be in the restaurant business. Who wants to be in the restaurant business now? Uh, not too many people. So this thing's going to sit vacant for a long, long time. But we're going to travel down Highway 111 here, take the camera with, show you what is going on. Look, there are so many uncertainties now politically, socially, uh, and certainly economically. Uh, and we're going to point out today more uh, of the problems we're seeing in this economy. While some people out there believe the economy is fine, believe it's going to bounce back this year in 2021 uh, based on nothing. I don't see how that's going to happen. I see the problem getting worse. Sid. Does, is everybody going to work for Lyft and Uber and uh, this economy, is it going to get better? Those are the questions, the big questions that are we're asking here in 2021. Um, a place like this should not be out of business. Yeah, um, but because the economy is suffering, it is out of business. Uh, it's just a reflection of the real economy. So you have to ask yourself, why are we seeing places like this out of business? Well, because the economy is horrible. People are losing jobs. How many people now at this restaurant uh, are unemployed? Yes, it's been over a year, but uh, every restaurant goes out of business. A lot of people don't have a job. So as we travel today uh, through Rancho Mirage and Palm Desert, um, We'll probably break this video up into uh, two parts, maybe three parts. We'll see how long it is. But just take a look behind me. Look at this parking lot, completely empty. Uh, and, and we walk back here. I mean, this is just a big piece of property sitting vacant. Maybe somebody will buy it, tear the restaurant down, turn it into something else. That'd be kind of a shame being such a historical landmark here in Rancho Mirage. But I mean, look at all, all this property, all this parking, empty. So we'll uh, go to the next stop and see what's going on today and take you with us. So behind me is a very large consignment store, now closed. And when I look at the size of a building like this, take a, take a look at that. It's a really large building. It is available. And you know, when you see a, a, a consignment store this big closed down, what, is that, what does that tell you what's happening in the economy? And let me tell you, this has been closed down for over a year, okay? This didn't just happen uh, six, seven, eight, nine months ago. This thing's been closed down for quite a long time. Very, very large building. We are seeing a pileup of so much commercial real estate, at least in my area, and it just makes you think, 
what are we going to do with all this vacant uh, commercial real estate in America? Millions and millions of square feet and millions of more square feet of commercial real estate coming to America. Uh, there's going to be winners and losers here and whoever is holding the note on this building is going to lose. And uh, who's going to pay for these massive losses with these um, commercial back uh uh, commercial mortgage-backed securities and we're seeing so many vacant buildings across America and right here look this is a very affluent area I'm in here in Rancho Mirage why are there so many vacant buildings if the economy was healthy we would not be seeing this the economy is in a depression ladies and gentlemen and this is why we're seeing so many places like this consignment stores restaurants you name it all closing up and again they didn't just close a few months ago these were closed over a year ago it wasn't an infection it was a poor economy it's a depression that's causing this and it's gonna get much worse so uh, here we are at a uh, Applebee's this one is permanently closed ladies and gentlemen and uh, it is on prime real estate uh, right off highway 111 and Las Palmas, prime, prime real estate here. Right next to a Holiday Inn Express that looks uh, very, very desolate. This has been closed for quite a while. Well, JP, this Applebee's has been shut down for about three years now. Um, I believe uh, we're collapsing right now. This is not good to see this happen. There it is. Um, so this has been closed for three years? Three years. Three years, wow. And then you got a Holiday Inn Express right next door. And look at how dead this is. Take a look at the parking lot. There's nobody even here. Three cars maybe. Look at that, just dead. And this is prime real estate again, right here off Highway 111, Rancho Mirage. You got Spaghetti Factory across the street, Wally's across the street, the river, which we'll be heading over to. Um, you know, this is no joke, ladies and gentlemen. For people out there that are going, where's the collapse? I'm, I've been hearing about the collapse. This is what a collapse looks like. You are looking at a Great Depression, the greatest depression 2.0 happening right before your very eyes. These people that don't see it, they're in a depression and they don't even see it. This is what a depression looks like. When properties on prime real estate are sitting vacant, permanently closed, when you're seeing massive amounts of vacant commercial real estate, uh, and I can tell you right now, just looking at the traffic out here today, it's about 75, 76 degrees here. Beautiful weather. We're in the, this is prime time for the desert. This is, this is where we should be seeing the most amount of people January, February. Uh, this is our prime season. Uh, it's not even that busy and it's Saturday. There's nobody here. There's nobody driving around like there used to be. Yeah, there's cars out there, but I would say we're down with traffic probably at least 50% compared to a normal uh, January. I, I would 80%. say Sid says 80%. I say 50, Sid says 80, put it in the middle, whatever. We're, we're way down. So and now we're over at a place called The River. This is an outdoor shopping, eating area. Rancho Mirage, right? Um, and the restaurant right behind me called Drink completely closed. I don't know if this is a temporary closure. Uh, it looks like it is, but uh, they're doing absolutely no business right now. This is really, really sad. And does a place like this, question is, does a place like this ever reopen? That's the question. How long can they stay closed um, before it's too late? Another one bites the dust. Completely empty. Nobody here. So I filmed a couple videos in the past here, um, but th th this place is continuing to lose more stores. Right behind me here was a Verizon store, now completely gone. Um, over here, we got a jewelry store, which looks to be gone. Uh, they've got some uh, window dressing in here, but there's there's nobody in there. And this is pretty common. A lot of these places will dress up the windows to make it look like something's going on. Uh, the old, I believe this was a Baja Fresh right here. They got some window dressing, but oh, lo and behold, look at that, it's it. Now leasing. Another one gone. Uh, Starbucks was up here. They're gone. 
This was, I believe, the Starbucks right here. A little more window dressing, not fooling anybody. So it's just unbelievable to watch what is going on. Every time I come here, this place looks worse and worse. The fountains are completely drained. Let's take a look at this. Check this out, man. This was such a beautiful outdoor shopping area. place the river is because there was a river flowing here before and now it's completely shut down for a year shut down already so it's amazing how long these things have been sitting vacant it really is but you know you take a look around like it's 75 degrees we're in the height of the season here and there's nobody out here and all the water is dried up at the river the water used to flow here the fountains were gorgeous it's so bad here that they haven't even taken the Christmas trees down. Uh, the, the, the Christmas lights, the decorations are haven't even been taken down yet. This is how broke this place is at this point. Forever 21, you guys have seen this in my past videos, big, big anchor store here, gone. And here's the one that really spells disaster for this property it's right here Fleming Steakhouse upscale steakhouse right here this is now permanently closed huge property it is an anchor restaurant here uh, it is a status symbol for this shopping center it is gone and it sits right next to PF Chang's right across from the cheesecake factory right across uh, from the theater which is closed so how in the world does this ever rebound how does it ever come back you know this is um a really concerning time when you see restaurants uh, of this nature closing down and i would probably predict that pf chang's will probably be next if not cheesecake factory and the decimation here at the river if you guys have watched some of my past videos i've been here probably the last time i was here was probably about eight months ago uh, it was bad then, it is now worse. The Flemings was open back then. Now it is a victim of this collapse. Sid, anything you want to say? Uh, it won't be long before the uh, homeless start to take shelter here because everything's being vacated. Well, you know, when I was here seven, eight months ago filming, there was actually a homeless lady taking a bath in the water right over here. We'll walk up that way and see what's going on. But how long do you think PF Chang's or the Cheesecake Factory has? Take a, I mean, take a look at this, Sid. I mean, is this not shocking? This is what a collapse looks like. For, for those people out there that say, where's the collapse? You're looking at it. Exactly. There's no money right now. And the stimulus money, you better be saving those pennies because we're headed for some major. Yeah, I think that major uh, is pretty obvious. It is no doubt begun. Um, really, you know, guys, it is really, really sad to see because I remember when I first moved out to the desert, this was a great place. I spent a lot of time here and um, enjoyed the restaurants and, and, and the nightlife here. It was really happening. It had, a, it had a, re a lot of life going on, right? Now it is dying. It is literally dead. Um, just looking at the property, just uh, decay is really, it's really sad. Really sad to see such a beautiful property just falling apart. It's a ghost town. It's so sad. What do we got here, Sid? We got an art gallery that uh, has been shut down for a while now. Wow. So it's like they didn't even take the art. They just left, left some of the stuff here. But they are permanently closed. Just a, another victim of, of what we're seeing here. We're at the Cheesecake Factory. And they're open for business. But nobody's here. Dude, this is... This is a ghost town. Look at this. Wow. So they can only do takeout, Sid. Only How take long does an establishment like this... Look at the overhead. This is an enormous restaurant. So it's on a week-to-week -week basis, I believe. If they're not making any type of revenue, this place is going down. This ain't no mom and pop. pop. This is a franchise. Big one. 
and they're in big trouble. Um, just look at the size of this building. Wow. Look at the size of this building. So it goes it goes all the way back there, outdoor seating. You can see 500 here, easy. Yeah, yeah, you can see 500 people here. Um, I mean, it just keeps going and go easily 500 people, I bet. So I've actually seen people taking baths here. Um, just so sad where this is all going, ladies and gentlemen. So sad. Uh, so let's talk about what we're walking up to here. Well, this aqua uh, restaurant here, they had shut down for maybe two or three years. Uh, they re just recently reopened and now they've had to shut down uh, due to everything going on. So it's a big, big restaurant. No, not even any takeout and this is a large outdoor indoor dining restaurant. Look at that. So there it is. So they were open for a while. I mean, this is prime real estate, everybody. Take a good look at where we're at. This is not, uh, you know, some depressed area, at least not yet. But when you look at a restaurant like this, they're not even doing takeout. How are they going to come back? Uh, we're gonna walk down here. Guys, I had this on a video like seven months ago. And some of you have probably seen this before, but we're back here as we're on our way to lunch, just to kind of recap on what's happening in some of these areas. And have they gotten better? Has there been improvement? Uh, I can tell you so far while we're here at the river, it has not gotten better, it has gotten worse. We're losing more stores, bigger restaurants. And as we're facing the 111 here, this place, this part of the river really got decimated. Uh, Sid, what do we got here? This used to be a... Uh don't know what it was, they yep. took everything out. All right, let's keep Shut moving. Down. We're gonna move it here for everybody. Uh, we're gonna go one by one here at Here's the river. Mini Hit it, gallery. just, yeah, nothing there. Just window dressing. Next. Close. So they're dressing all the windows. Everything is for lease. That's unlimited. Yeah, gone. That was open actually the last time I was here. Uh, now closed. Look at this, Sid might have been some type of doctor's office closed they've been closed for so long I don't even know what they were uh, but I just want to recap for everybody what's going on here pull it let's see uh, is it a gallery at yeah the river. yeah closed. empty completely empty we're gonna keep moving along here and we're right across again from the Cheesecake Factory prime real estate Sid pull look pull that door see if they're open this was a Mac yeah cosmetic this could be a Mac yep closed. gone Mac Cosmetics gone. How does how does this happen? This is a collapse, of course. Uh, closed. Closed. So uh, just a quick recap here at the river, Rancho Mirage, California. It is pure decimation. Uh, and it's getting worse. It's worse than it was six or seven months ago. I thought that wasn't even possible. Uh, but it is, we lost the Fleming Steakhouse. We've lost a couple more of the small stores. And uh, the property, you know, garbage is on the, on the ground here. The fountains, uh, half the fountains have been shut down. They're movie just theaters. decaying. M movie theater continues to be closed. So uh, this place is in huge trouble. It's been for sale for, I think, two years now. Um, and you know, if we had all day, we could walk around and show you a little bit more here, but we're going to move on to the next destination. Um, but the news here in Rancho Mirage is not good, but this is what a collapse looks like. Uh, looks like ladies and gentlemen, these people out there that go, where's the collapse? I don't see any collapse. Well, it's you're seeing one right in front of you. It's collapsing right in front of you guys. So as we uh, exit the river today, I just want to show you a picture of the parking lot here, a little video. It's a huge, huge parking lot. Wow. Take a look at this parking lot, okay? Wow. It's empty, okay? Look at this. It's empty. Sid. As I look at everything here, it just it's another reminder that all businesses are hanging on by a thread. If we take a look across the street here, that's the Omni Resort, a very huge property, very well known around the world. Uh, my brother-in-law worked in the kitchen down here and uh, he's been laid off for about three months now and uh, he's getting unemployment. But how long is the unemployment gonna last? And uh, 
when will he go back to work is the question. Yeah, that's a good question. But as we as we think about and ponder that question, take a look at this parking lot, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. It is massive and it is empty. Wow. And I remember, you know, not too long ago uh, coming here to see a movie and you can't even find a parking spot. I remember spot. that. I remember that. And some of the parking that is here might be for the post office uh, over there. Um, some of the um, unbelievable. S- some of the very few employees that might be working here today. Unbelievable. Some people might just be leaving their cars here for for overnight parking wow. for whatever. I don't know, but uh, there's nobody here, ladies and gentlemen, and and uh, it, it is just a ghost town. It's it's even amazing to think that there's even this many cars here because I would say, Sid, what would you think? Eighty percent of the retailers here are now gone. I would say yes, 80% yeah. are gone yeah. and uh, they ain't coming back. So this is a pretty recent closing here. This used to be a Steinmart and it's a pretty large building, actually very large building, uh, completely closed from end to end. And uh, Sid, uh, what do you have to say on this one? I would say this building is probably three years old and this whole area is brand new. Yeah, take it. Let's take a look at. It. I'm gonna swing it around again. Look at the parking lot. This is this shopping center was redone, remodeled just a few years ago. Uh, there are some cars here at Hobby Lobby. It's got some cars, a couple restaurants in here, um, CVS Pharmacy. But this parking lot is probably only at 40% capacity. Uh, there's more vacancies over there. There used to be a grocery store at the end of this Steinmart uh, that has been closed. That's been in past videos. Wow. Um, but yeah, I mean, what a beautiful, nice building. And uh, who, t- who who comes in from here? Like, you got to ask yourself, ladies and gentlemen, as we walk over, let's take a walk. Um, who's going to come in and lease these buildings buy these buildings who's holding the notes on these buildings wow. uh the landlords have got to be getting absolutely decimated uh this looks like a newer one right here uh there's another lease sign up over here but as we walk down here guys i'm going to show you that there used to be a little uh pro- i think a private owned grocery store right here it's been on past videos this has been closed guys for a couple years now take a look behind me that's all closed. And when do you ever hear of a grocery store closing? Yeah. That's unheard of. Yep. And as we walk a little farther, and a beautiful uh, little shopping area here, uh, here's another one next to the uh, Club Pilates for lease. I'm not sure what that is. But, uh, you, you know, it is really frightening what we're seeing here. I've seen absolutely zero improvement with what's happening uh, with commercial real estate here just continues to get worse. Um, I, some of these buildings or some of these uh, stores say that they're open. I don't even know if they're open. Sid, here's another one right here for lease. Wow. Look at that. Call uh, Shauna Strange. Yep. She can uh, yep. get you the keys. So, and I know that uh, at the end here, there's another one that bit the dust out of business. Uh, guys, it is really getting uh, very frightening with what we're seeing take place. And um, again, it's not getting better, it's getting worse. And, and ask yourself, where are all these people who once worked at the Steinmart, once worked at uh, these restaurants, the where, where at the resorts, like Sid just said, where are they going? Where are they going to get a job? Um, that's that's the question. How long can people stay on unemployment? So let's walk back to the to the car and we'll we'll get get some lunch. But we're gonna try to donate, make make a little bit of a difference today, and support one of these small restaurants and, and get get Sid some lunch here because I know he's starving. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna make a contribution today, do the best that we can to kind of support our local business. But uh, we're walking through a pretty desolate parking lot here, and. Just vacancy after vacancy after vacancy. I, I, I cannot believe these people who go, I'm waiting for the collapse. Where is it? We're in it. We're in it, guys. We're in the This collapse. is what it looks like. It, it looks, this, vacant stores, vacant restaurants, empty parking lots, and, a, and tens of millions of people without a job. That's called a collapse. You know, I'm a huge proponent, as you know, of gold, silver. Sid, I, why don't, before we have lunch, you bought more silver this week 
And, and, and one thing, um, you know, I know that some people out there, some of the trolls will attack Sid. They attack me, uh, but I'm staying the course. I'm staying on plan, on the plan. Uh, Metals took a hit uh, this week. Time and to buy more. I'm buying more. And, and look, they can they can they can throw all that paper, gold and silver on the markets and slam the prices. That is a buying opportunity for you and me. I'm going to continue to play the game. You think Jamie Dimon at J.P. Morgan didn't back up the trucks yesterday into those vaults with? tons Definitely. of gold and silver they crush these prices with paper and remember there's a difference between paper and the physical um but they can they, they can manipulate these markets by putting out all this paper push prices down but guess what they're the ones backing up the truck buying it telling you to invest in the big bubble in the stock market while they're backing up the trucks in the middle of the night uh loading up their vaults with more gold more silver sid you're continuing to buy i'm continuing to buy more and uh and continue to do so. I buy it, put it away for a rainy day. Don't look at it. Yeah, that's a great point. Um, buy it. Don't worry about the price. Make sure you have it because this stuff is a life jacket for a sinking Titanic. We, we are surrounded by bubbles. And when they blow up, do you think you're going to sell your house tomorrow? Do you think you're going to be able to sell those stocks tomorrow? Everybody's going to be running to the same exit. Uh, and the exits just aren't going to be there. And it is going to be a very, very ugly, dangerous time uh, to, to, to be in this. Um, and this is why I cannot stress enough the importance of having uh, hard, tangible assets like gold and silver, having them in safe places that you can get to. Because if this doesn't tell you, wake you up and warn you to what's coming, what's already begun, I don't know what does. Uh, I, I can't, I, I don't think I can explain it anymore. When we're looking at the amount of businesses permanently gone, not temporarily, permanently gone, uh, what effect this is gonna have on the markets, what effect this is happening right now uh, with employment, and uh, what uh, kind of effects it's going to have down the road socially. Guys, prepare, because the ship is sinking right so, now. Uh, we just had lunch at Dickie's Barbecue, and one thing I've noticed is the price uh, of food is just skyrocketing, but uh, Sid wanted to make a couple points. Um, you know, um, I don't think they're gonna be happy until uh, everyone is homeless, um, what I'm seeing, uh, just being at this restaurant, um, we were the only ones here. Um, don't see much traffic. Nobody's even showed up yet. Yeah, um, so we've been here about a half hour, sitting outside, of course, to eat, um, because you're not allowed to sit inside. We're you're not even wall. allowed to sit outside. So we had to walk down, sit on a bench, and eat, eat lunch like we're two homeless hobos. But as we're sitting here, we've been here for about 35 minutes. Not one person has walked in to that restaurant behind me. There's two people working there. That's it. Um, it's just unbelievable. How long, Sid, do these places even have that are open? I think everyone is hanging by a thread. No doubt. That is uh, the quote of the day. Everybody hanging on by a thread. Uh, my heart goes out to everybody. Look, um, you could be jobless tomorrow I could be jobless tomorrow anybody could be jobless anybody could be homeless so you know uh, just really take it um, as a blessing that you have a job today uh, you, you have food today um, you have a roof over your head you know we take so much for granted but let me tell you ladies and gentlemen um, this is no time to take anything for granted it is really getting ugly out here